And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 641 this morning and look at all the rain across the state of Texas and yes that shade of pink is freezing rain it's coming down as rain but when it hits the surface with temperatures below freezing it's turning to ice and so yes I think we're going to be seeing some images from the panhandle today of some ice covered cars some railways and trees with ice on them there could be some few power outages and there could be issues on the roads as well I think the wintry weather is going to be limited to the panhandle though the rest of us are just going to be dealing with wet weather and the rain chance is here for the valley as well. But today isn't a washout of a day. Uh, but carry the umbrella with you because there are going to be some isolated showers around uh, for that morning commute. Not everybody's seen rain uh, during the morning hours, but it will be around. Notice still some showers as we get into the early afternoon. But what I want to draw your attention to is actually in the late afternoon looking largely dry. I can't rule out a stray shower, but we might even be seeing a little bit of sun before it sets. Do not cancel your early evening plans. I, I know when you pull up the weather app, it's going to say 70, 80 percent chance of rain. But look at this. Uh, 10 o'clock tonight, look how many of us are still going to be dry. The rain's starting to move into Star County. It's mainly going to be late tonight that those showers and storms are going to become more widespread. This is as the front moves in. Again, it'll probably be right in the heart of the valley around midnight tonight. And then by the time we get to 1, 2 a.m., it will have cleared and temperatures will be dropping quickly behind it. Now, tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be starting to dry out, but we won't be completely dry yet. We're still going to have a few showers around, uh, but not a lot of rain, but still a lot of clouds. By the way, we're going to be waking up to temperatures in the upper 50s tomorrow morning. In the afternoon, uh, notice the very start of the early afternoon, still a few showers around, still cloudy. I don't think it's until the late afternoon we're going to dry out completely and maybe even a few peaks of sunshine, but boy, is tomorrow going to be a lot cooler. We're talking about high temperatures only in the low 60s and most spots. So that is a cold front for you. Again, look at your day planner today, 72 at 8 a.m., around noon, upper 70s, and we'll eventually be sitting in the low 80s this afternoon. I kind of want to highlight the best chance of rain probably being from late morning through the early afternoon, so probably around lunchtime I'd have that umbrella ready to go. Uh, but not everybody will see rain during the day today. In fact, we might even see a little sun in the late afternoon. That cold front arrives late tonight, and that will be the more widespread showers and storms. So overall, 50% chance of rain during the day today. Highs will reach around 81. It's going to be a mostly cloudy and windy day with gusts around 30 miles per hour. So you will be noticing that wind, but it's out of the south-southeast. Now tonight, notice the little note here. Those winds are going to be shifting from the south southeast to the north northwest. That's the cold front coming through. And though we're going to spend a lot of the evening hours in the 70s, we will finally drop into the upper 50s by early tomorrow morning. Cloudy tonight, a 70% chance of seeing showers and storms, but again, fairly late. The early evening is looking largely dry, so don't cancel those dinner plans. But if you're going to be out late tonight, yeah, definitely carry the umbrella with you. I'd still carry the umbrella with you through the early afternoon tomorrow because we're still going to have some lingering showers in the valley, and we may not see the sun until the late afternoon. It is going to be significantly cooler tomorrow. Highs only around 63, a mostly cloudy and breezy day. A different on Sunday. We are going to be seeing a lot more sun, but keep in mind, we're going to start the day Sunday morning in the mid-40s. Partly cloudy in the morning, Mostly sunny, still breezy on Sunday, and highs are only going to be around 62. If you like cool weather, the good news is we're going to continue into next work week with cool weather. How about highs around 64 on Monday? After a cold start in the low 40s, would not be surprised to see some 30s popping up in our usual cool spots. Northern Adal County, Star County, 70 for our high on Tuesday, still mostly sunny. I don't see our next rain chance until Wednesday night. A few showers possible. Actually, during the day, it's going to be quite pleasant. Mid 50s to start, mid 70s in the afternoon, and then we get to Thursday. That's when you're going to be feeling that. That humidity a little bit more and I think that's going to be our warmest day. The warm up stops there because I think another cold front is going to arrive late Thursday night or Friday and cool us back down into the 60s for next weekend.